Hey, this is Rick with Outdoor Emergencies at HikingEmergencyBeacon.com. And today in 2023, it's about July. Well, it is July of 2023. I want to go over the 11 satellite communicators I have and tell you about the differences and what are the best and what are they good at uh, of this year. And there are a few that I don't have here, but they are not true satellite communicators. These all can call SOS and two-way message. Number one most important thing. So before we get into this review of the 2023 best of the satellite communicators, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. So there are 11 here. Only one is a one-way satellite communicator, and that is the Spot Gen 4. The Spot Gen 3 is also included here, but I am not showing past models. This is the Spot X Bluetooth. I'm not showing the Spot X. Then let's see over here, I've got the Garmin Enrich Mini 2. Mini, the Garmin Enrich Mini is not on display here today. And then the GPS map, the Garmin GPS map 67i is here, but not the 66i. So let me run through all of these real quick, what they actually are. This is the Garmin Montana 750i. There is a 700i. It does not have the ability to take photos. The 750i does. This is the Garmin Alpha 200i, and it's a dog tracker, but it also is an inReach device. And I'll show you real quick as we're doing this. So the Montana 750i, here's the SOS on the side. Again, that's what is most important here. Uh, the Alpha 200i, again, SOS right here. And the Garmin GPS Map 67i, SOS here. And the Garmin InReach Mini 2, SOS right there. Now a little bit older model, this is being replaced, the Garmin Explorer Plus is being replaced by the GPS map 67i. At least that's what I have been told from some Garmin technicians. SOS on this side. And then you have the Garmin Messenger. This is a new one. Again, SOS here. The here is the ACR Bivy Stick. And the SOS is, well, here's a check-in. Where is the SOS at? The SOS is at the bottom right here. You pull this cover back and again, you can call for help. The Zolio SOS, there's a cover right here. So you pull this back and there is the SOS button there. Every one of these has SOS. Here is the Somewhere Global Hotspot and on this one, you take the top off and SOS is right there. Then you come down here to the Spot Devices and here is the Spot X Bluetooth SOS under this cover here. And then you have the Spot Gen 4 and SOS is somewhere right here. So the SOS here, it's kind of hard to see, but this, this orange cover around here, you pull that back, there's the SOS. On the other side, there's another cover right there. All right, so as I said to start with, the Spot Gen 4 is the only one-way messenger. It is one of the least expensive. The Spot Gen 3 was the first one I bought because at the time it was the least expensive one that I knew of, so I at least got something on my pack. So one-way satellite communicator, and then all these are two-way. So we're going to go through these and just kind of compare and look at which ones are better at certain features. So uh, let's look real quick at, well, let's look at the smallest ones. So all these over here are the largest ones. And I'll include Spot. The Spot X is large. And then over here, you have all of the smaller devices. Now, the Zolio is the largest of these, but it, and it's still pretty small. When you put the clip on the back, it gets a little bit thicker. So if you want minimalistic as far as size, these are the ones you would go with. If you want, you know, more things that are more like all in one, I would have to take the Spot X out of it because the Spot X is, well, it doesn't have topo maps and it, it doesn't have weather. There's a third party that offers weather if you send them a message, but it, these do not have weather. These devices right here, maybe get some of these out of the way. 
These are all standalone devices. You can see they have larger screens. They have topo maps on all of them. Now the Montana 750i is a touchscreen and along with the Alpha 200i is a touchscreen. These though are standalone devices. You do not need to uh, you, uh, sync your phone. You can sync your phone with the Explorer app and then the GPS map 67i uses the Messenger app also, but again, they're standalone devices. Let's just point one of these out here real quick as an individual item. This Alpha 200i is a dog tracker. It's an inReach device, so you can message, you can get weather, you can get SOS, call for help, but you can also track up to 20 dogs. That's what's different about that one. This also comes with a dog tracking collar. So you, if you want to track your dogs, you have to have, to call, have a collar for each dog. The messengers here that are the best communicators, in my opinion, is the Zolio and the Garmin Messenger. The reason I separate these two out is because both of these can go from Wi-Fi to cell service to satellite service automatically without you doing anything. But remember, if you're going to go to the satellite service or when you do, you need to have a clear view of the sky. Now, also, the ones that you have to have connected to your smartphone to have really any function they are it's a, it's the zolio the bivy stick and the somewhere global hotspot now these now they have some things here and i believe there is a check-in button maybe not even on the on the summer global hotspot they're the kind of dumb devices with uh, without being synced the acr bivy stick has a check-in button and is that it? Uh, basically, yeah, you can check in. So it has something there. The Zolio also has a check in. But besides that, and you can call for SOS on these, but besides that, they're dumb devices. But when you sync them to your smartphone, they are very smart devices. My only caution with that is, you know, there are technical difficulties sometimes. And so if you have a problem syncing to your smartphone, well, you're gonna end up with a dumb device. As long as you can sync with your smartphone, then you have a very intelligent device and it's, these are great options for you. Let's talk about price real quick. Some of the least expensive here, and you know, I, I'm gonna go by memory, but I know the Garmin's a little bit less money and I think the Bivy Stick's a little more. I'm gonna put some prices on the screen. The Somewhere Global Hotspot, I believe is also a little more. But I believe these in general are the five of the cheapest on the market. And so I'm going to put the prices of all five of these and you'll see what the, how expensive they are. I believe the Spot X has come down in price. But then the most expensive on the market I would put over here, these five right here. These are like some of the most expensive. I believe the Garmin Explore Plus is coming down in price because it's an older model. All right, one thing that's really important, and maybe some, some of you that travel a lot, there are some, most of these have global pole to pole coverage. The Spot and, or the Spot Gen 4, Gen 3, and the Spot X Bluetooth and Spot X, they do not have global pole to pole coverage. I'll put an image on the screen. There are gaps in the coverage on these. Every one of these other ones here have global pole to pole coverage. I think they all use the Iridium satellite network. Go ahead and leave a message if I'm wrong on that, but I believe they all do. There are only two devices that use the new Garmin Messenger app. They are the Garmin GPS Map 67i and the Garmin InReach Mini 2. The great thing about that is when you're messaging, you can do group messaging and then the you can it has access to Again, the Wi-Fi, cell service, and satellite service. The best navigators here, in my opinion, all this is my opinion, okay? It's not scientific. It's not by Garmin or Zolio or ACR. The best navigators here, I'm, and I'm going to say because I put a lot of emphasis or value in an all-in-one device so you're not synced with your smartphone. The... Garmin Montana 700i and 750i. I boy, I, 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 you know, this Alpha 200i is a good navigator too, but I'm going to put this on the low end. The Garmin GPS Map 67i 
is an incredible satellite or a navigator. I would, you know, the Mini 2 is a good navigator also, but I would kind of separate these out. Now, I did say that, you know, these right here, the ACR Bivy Stick, and maybe the Somewhere Global Hotspot, maybe the Quality Navigators too, and the Zolio, but these have to be synced with your phone. That's why I kind of put them over here. The best navigators by far, and then and are are the newest ones. I would say are uh, is the Garmin Montana 700 750i, and the Garmin GPS Map 67i. They are incredible navigators. In fact, the 67i was built off a different model, previous model that was a great navigator, and then Garmin added the inReach technology to it. There is one of these devices that is a great device for ATVs, Jeeps, off-roading, and it is the Garmin GPS or the Garmin Montana 700 and 750i. You could say that you know these large devices are good for, could be good for ATVs and all that also, and and this GPS Map 67i has a larger screen, but by far this has the biggest screen and it's a touch screen. Now, there are big clips over here, and it has a bad battery, so you have to keep it plugged in. I talked to Garmin, and they said, yes, this is meant for Jeeps, off-roading, ATVs, and you want to keep charging it, but with the big screen, and then it has City Navigator, and there's, there's another thing it has, but it's better at navigating on trails, city streets, and all that. So by far, this is the one... Uh, long there's another one and I'll put it up on the screen I think it's a I don't remember exactly what it's called right now I think it's a tread series and it's bigger and you can have communication it's definitely meant for group rides in the mountains um, that'll be on the screen right here and all of these will have information in the description below all right now for my personal opinion I need to wrap this up because neighbors are starting to wake up and I think a lawnmower is going over here, and it's kind of early for that, so not even 7 o'clock in the morning. These are all great devices, and they all communicate with uh, SOS and two-way messaging, except for the Spot Gen 4. So that's the focus of my channel, is two-way messaging with SOS. Can you get help when you're in a life-threatening situation, or you need help, and you're, it's not life-threatening, but you can communicate with family and friends and, and get help? had several things like that happen in my life and it's nice to have these on you when you're in a situation where you need assistance personally and i'm not going to point out my favorites here but personally i put a lot of value in all-in-one devices the mini and mini 2 because of everything that offered for a while were one of my top devices but now with the 67i that's come out and then you've got the dog tracker and the montana 750i touch screen then you know i just like the ones that would that stand alone you can do things on them and like the mini too you can message on this it's a little more challenging but you can message without being synced with your smartphone you know versus the zolio well even the acer baby stick the summer global hotspot you can't message unless you're synced with your phone the garmin messenger i'm gonna have to move this over here a little bit because it's great for communication and you can message on this by itself it's challenging but you can do it and so i like these that you know i i wasn't going to say this as one of my top ones and but but the garmin gps map 67i as a hiker and a backpacker this is one of the best you can have for that putting on your pack it's not too big that it's cumbersome on your pack has a lot of power it's a great navigator and it's easier to type messages so that's a really one that you should could consider if you want one of the best in the market for hiking i would take a hard look at the garmin gps map 67i if you want probably here the best for being on an atv i would take a hard look at the garmin montana 700i and 750i Again, the 750i has the photos, and I think you can then they're geo-referenced, and then you can even navigate by the photos. Say, if you took photos and you were fishing, and you, then you might be able, then you would be able to navigate by those photos. I've seen that. You know, if you're just looking for like you've, you can already navigate. If you're just looking for something to communicate and to send tracks, then you know really 
this Garmin Messenger and the Zolio, they're the great mess, they're really good communicators because they go from Wi-Fi to cell service to satellite service. So that's it really. Again, I would say the best mess the best here in their class. If you want the best basically communicator, I would say it's probably the Garmin GPS Map 67i. If you want the best overall lightweight satellite communicator, it's the Garmin Mini 2, InReach Mini 2. If you want a dog tracker, well, there's that for you. It's very powerful. If you want the best device for backpacking, especially, in my opinion, longer trips, standalone device, it's the GPS Map 67i. If you want the best for a ATV, then it's the Garmin Montana 700i or 750i. These are top in class, in my opinion. I would have to add here the Garmin Alpha 200i because it's a dog tracker and it's great because it can do everything but it also tracks your dogs and so if you lose them in the mountains or they start chasing an animal that's great. That's really it. I'm going to wrap this up here but if you guys have any comments, questions, if you think something else is better, you you prefer one of, of over another. I'm, I know some people are going to say hey include the ACR baby stick. It's great. It is a great device. It is one of my top satellite communicators also. But that's it. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching and joining me here today on Hiking Emergency Beacon. Again, if you have any comments, questions, tips, thoughts, please leave those in the message um, below. And thanks for joining me here today. Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. And if you'd like to support Hiking Emergency Beacon, there's a link in the description below. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you back here on the next video.